Hey guys, I'm uh, Francisco. I'm here at my barber shop, the Odie Faith Studio. Uh, I'm here with Jack, and today we're gonna cut his hair. What are you thinking? So here's what I'm thinking, man. Something I've never done before. Oh, that's maps. I want to go for a French crop, kind of that style. Yeah. But maybe a little bit of a higher fade. Maybe not so dramatic on that part right there, but. I'm thinking we go a little bit different than I've normally ever done. I've, never, I've only had one skin fade in my life. Never done bald fade like that before with yeah, the yeah. crop. But my hairline ain't what it used to be, man. So I'm figuring this would be my best kind of thing. But I wanted to get your opinion before we go ahead and do this. I mean, is there enough hair on top to achieve this? Kind no, of yeah, work? there is. Okay. Uh, it's just a matter of like the way you're going to be styling it whenever you get to uh, like after, out of the chair, yeah. Because you've I been do. you've been doing just kind of like the swoop over for a I long time. For a long time. So your hair naturally wants naturally to. wants to like go up and over. Okay. So just kind of training your hair to go, kind of have like that disheveled, messy look going forward. Okay. Is um, that something that we can achieve. Yeah. Okay. And I think if we do kind of like a like a if we do a mid fade, mm -hmm. but w without having like the the shape up in the corner. Yeah. I think we can achieve that as opposed to going really high and then having almost nothing up almost there. nothing yeah, yeah. Okay, i want to so i want to have a yeah like a transition up to the to the to the top otherwise it's going to look very in my in my opinion kind of weird so okay yeah no i totally agree cool awesome all right let's roll man. let's do it i'm just going to start on the top and just kind of get my my layering all worked up on top i'm also going to try and talk less in this one everyone complains i talk too much in these <laughs> In the videos? Yeah, they're like, God, the client will never shut up. <laughs> so is it like each barber or hairstylist rents out space in here? Yeah. That's Everyone's awesome. kind of like just their individual. But they provide, like, is that, was that shelf here? Was that? Oh, no, no, no. The, the only thing that I kept here that was theirs is the, the sink. Oh, so you provided everything, everything else. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Sounds cool. Kind of made it, it made it my own. tell people are gonna be like oh he looks like uh what's uh a lloyd 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 christmas lloyd christmas yeah. getting yeah, that <laughs> <laughs> well at least i have a beard <laughs> sort of it's growing back i accidentally trimmed it a little bit too much and had to start over yeah this is a week no way yeah sheesh It'll be a lot easier to uh, to get going in the mornings too with this haircut. That's what I'm thinking. Like the messier it looks, the better for you. <laughs> mm -hmm. Let me get into the fade. All right. This is a one and one half, kind of like a, a two, like a short two, just to like remove the remove the uh, the bulk. I've had this clipper charging pretty much all weekend and it sounds like it's about to die. Oh really? <laughs> the uh, the magic clip? Oh really? Yeah. If it dies, man, that's it. I'm just leaving like this. <laughs> just walk out with like half of a fade. Start a new trend, Jack. Yeah, I was gonna say it's your trend setter with a half fade. Yeah, this is just uh, the trimmer just to like knock down all the uh, the bulk in the bottom. And since we're not doing the arch, I'm just gonna make the line right there at the at the start at the at the point of your of your edge. Okay. 
What did Jeff meant to do with, for the uh, for the beard? I'm probably just gonna line it up. Line it up? Yeah. We'll have to grow back in. I just want to get a good amount of growth. I just recently got these shavers too, uh, last week. From, uh, I used mainly use the, uh, the Andy's uh, Profoil shavers. Mm -hmm. You're familiar with those? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I just recently got these from uh, Babeless. They're sturdy, man. Down to the half, yeah. Okay. Just like tapering down to into the into the fade. Oh, this is like uh, no guard, oh. blending from like the skin into the uh, into the the half. Yeah, just taking out the uh, the bulk and transitioning to the top. Did you get a hard part last time? I did. Yeah, you can still kind of see where it's growing. The back. remnant. Yeah. <laughs> of the the part. Yeah, that's made styling a bit difficult as it's grown out. taking out some dark spots that you really can't take off just by using a clip over comb or shear over comb. Mm. It's the fun part where I throw in some texture up top now that the hair is dry. Yeah, doing some deep point cuts. Break up that, uh, that square layering that I did up top in the beginning. You're like, I have no idea what you said. <laughs> oh man, I've added these videos all day every day. I felt like I could have done a haircut myself when I did that one video, but yeah, there's one thing to edit these videos and there's one thing to actually do it. You know, actually do the haircut. It's way harder than you expect. So especially here, like in your, uh, your, your recession, I'm not gonna go too high. super crazy with the texture. I still wanna leave that pretty full but like this portion here yeah I definitely want to attack just to kind of even it out right so that it matches more of that exactly my temples go high it's like a Jack Nicholson in the shining <laughs> <laughs> the oldest 24 year old in the game Awesome. Especially for like this type of uh, like haircut, you want to have yeah, dry texture. That try, yeah, just to show showcase it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you you can also put a little bit of styling balm in there. Okay. What about like a sea salt spray? Would that work? Yeah, you could do the sea salt to give you kind of like that that crunchy mm -hmm. like uh, not crunchy but like that texture look. Especially kind of like that technique that I was doing where like you kind of like yeah, grab the, the hair and kind of pinch kind it of together. Yep. Yeah, what is this, a two week or a four week job? Uh, it, depends. it depends on how fresh you want to keep it. If you want to like grow the, uh, the fade a little bit more. Mm -hmm. But yeah. So, right now, just fade in the beard, give you some nice lines. Yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. We can do that. Cool. Yeah. yeah.
Leave the stash alone? Yeah, let's leave the stash. Yeah. Kind of go for that. Rogue your book. Just gonna have you lean all the way back. All right. Yes, sir. Yeah, that's the best I've looked in a long time. <laughs> Here comes the, uh, the holy water. Holy water. Mm. That so good. It actually smells really good. What is that? That's uh, Whiskey Woods by uh, Clubman. I was going to say, that looks like a bottle of Jack. <laughs> You want simplicity? Grab the Styling Balm. It's designed for your hair and your beard. It will give a satin finish with a medium hold. No, it's not a conditioning product. It's a styling product. Styling Balm over at beardbrand.com.